What's up Ocean? You got Matt here, here with another discussion video for a reveal of a brand new set of Pokemon. We have the brand new release for Hisuian Zorua and Hisuian Zoroark. Super excited, make sure to stick around for more news on Pokemon Legends Arceus as it gets closer to release. We're going to talk about all things competitive Pokemon when it comes to these Pokemon here, these Pokemon releases. I am so excited, let me know what you guys think about these Pokemon down in the comments and leave a like while you're there, but let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, from an appearance perspective, these things look incredible. Game Freak did an amazing job. The lead up to this, to this trailer, the fact that we had the, the staticky version where you couldn't really see anything, and then this comes out. Mm, that is awesome. Super excited to how this was released. I think they should do something like this more often. And just the the images. Obviously, this is not gonna be official gameplay, but it looks so, so nice. The colors, obviously the white and the red is super nice, kind of the inverse of regular Zoroark. I, I love it a lot. I think this is so clean. And I honestly thought this Pokemon was going to be like a dark ice type based on just the look. But no, we have a brand new type. A brand new type for the first time in what seems like forever, honestly. And it is a normal and ghost type. We've been asking about this forever. And honestly, I don't see how it's normal and ghost. But at the same time, I, I kind of do. And I'm so excited for a normal and ghost type. We've been asking for this for so long because this thing has three immunities. It is immunity to normal, immunity to fighting, and immunity to ghost. With only one weakness and then a resist, or not weakness, no, what am I saying? It's a weakness to dark, that's it. And that's all it has, which is really, really good because you can build around protecting yourself from dark types. You can have a fairy on your team, you can have a fighting type on your team. There are ways to protect yourself from dark types. And if this thing has anywhere near the stats or coverage that regular Zoroark gets, forget about it. It's gonna be so amazing for us. I, I cannot wait to see what Hisuian Zoroark is gonna look like in terms of that, well, the full product, the finished product, because we don't know what the finished product is right now. This thing, by the way, just so you, you know, offensively is gonna be a monster. The reason I say that, let's take a look. There are only four Pokemon. That's it, just four Pokemon that are resisting the dual combination of normal and ghost type attacks. It's honestly nutty. I, I think that this is one of the best type combinations offensively. Obviously it doesn't have super, a ton of Pokemon that are gonna hit super effectively. It's only Pokemon that are gonna be hit super effectively by the ghost options, but you're hitting everything for really amazing damage. You have so many immunities, you have illusions. So if you end up leading with this thing, against a Pokemon, like a dark type, who's weak to fighting, then they try and go for a fighting type attack, and you're immune. Hello, it's a Zoroark. It's just, it's gonna mess with people's minds. That's exactly what Illusion does. I love it. This thing has such good coverage. I, I mentioned before, I was talking it, I started doing this before, but this thing, if it gets fighting coverage in low kick or focus blast, like regular Zoroark does, then it's set. The only types, the only Pokemon I said that were taking the, this, these hits decently are going to be Titar and Bishar, both of which are four times weak to low kick and focus blast. It's going to be awesome in terms of an offensive perspective. If it gets anywhere near half the coverage that regular Zoroark gets, it's going to be amazing. Zoroark has moves like Flamethrower, like Extra Sensory, gets Knock Off, Sucker Punch, it gets access to Grass Knot as well, Sludge Bomb for Fairy types. There's so many options. It can set up on both physical and special sides. U turn for Momentum. Trick is amazing to potentially trick the Pokemon coming in to take the Ghost type attacks or to be immune to the Ghost type attacks and then trick them a Scarf, a Band, a Specs, whatever, to just annoy them and lock them into a certain move is going to be absolutely huge. I would not change anything about the stats on this thing, by the way. Nothing at all. I think the stats, honestly, are perfect for the Hisuian version of Zoroark. Reason being is you have the mixed attack vibes here. 105 attack, 120 special attack, and you have 105 in speed, which is good enough, but not too good to be broken. And I think this thing, you don't want it to be broken because you want to be able to use it in the competitive scene. And who knows if it will end up being broken based on its, its coverage and stats, but it has very lackluster defenses. And I think that should continue based on the way this thing looks. Like, look at it. It's It looks pretty frail, I'll be honest, okay? If it's bulky at all, I'd be super surprised. I think that they, there's no reason for them to change anything about the, the, the stats here. I don't know why I blanked on that. The ability is another thing. I think that this thing should have illusion, 100%. There's no reason for it not to, but I do think there should probably be a secondary ability. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I think something like, you know, maybe if they find that the typing is too good and it needs to be nerfed, maybe they do like a, a normalized type of thing. Or maybe they do like a, 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 a move that turns normal type attacks into ghost type attacks. Who knows? I think that could be kind of unique and interesting. Or that technician would be really cool to have. I think that would be an awesome ability to have on Zoroark. Uh, Zorua in general as well, by the way. So cute. Fucking adorable. And now we're going to have Zoroark as well. Awesome. I think this thing is going to be a monster competitively. It really breaks a lot of Pokemon that would normally want to try and check it. You're going to have to just have a Pokemon that's just generally bulky all around. Something like a Tox, Pex, or a Ferret are going to be the best options. Assuming this thing doesn't get the type of coverage that regular Zoroark does get. But a normal type isn't going to be an answer for this thing. 
A ghost type isn't going to be an answer for this thing. Usually you want to have a normal type to deal with ghosts or a ghost type to deal with normals and fightings. That's not going to happen in this instance. This Pokemon will be able to handle each of those Pokemon. It's amazing. It's immune to its own stabs. That's awesome. Super cool. I think it's going to be probably the most common Pokemon we see on playthroughs of Legend Arceus. And I, I can't wait. I want to use one on my team so badly. Also, guys, just going to point out how, how fucking cool. Is, oh my God. How cool is this? Where is it? It's over here. They're talking about the... Uh, we're talking about all this stuff and then in the background we see something kind of like like moving forward it's like all the way over here where is it come on show it please don't get me demonetized please it'd be so good if i wasn't demonetized on this there it is you guys see it coming up in the background there it is here's this fog and it's just gonna jump at you oh my god so perfect and then boom oh i missed it i missed it i want to show you guys the eyes i knew you guys saw them. i'm sure you did but let's try and show you the eyes and there we go. Oh, I missed it again. You guys saw it. It is what it is. This thing is going to be incredible. And then it just knocks you out. The way they released this was done so, so well. Pokemon, I honestly want to pair with this thing. Like, there's the Zorua just there. It's looking so adorable. Look at this thing. So cute. Pokemon, I'd want to pair with this thing, honestly. Something that really needs support from a good normal type. Something that, good, that needs support from a good fighting type. But also something that really wants to be able to, well, take hits from opposing fighting types. So something. What, not fighting types, dark types. What wants to take hits? from opposing dark types. I think a Tapu Koko is gonna be super, super common because Coco gets Roost, Coco gets access to a pretty bulky stat distribution over here as well. And it can deal with opposing dark types with Dazzling Gleam and it can also break things down really easily and get through momentum. I think a really good Pokemon as well is gonna be Mean Xiao. Not Mean Fu, Mean Xiao, because Mean Xiao is able to switch in and out pretty comfortably as well, has regenerate to keep yourself healthy, but also has the speed to really pressure opposing things. The only thing you wanna be careful of is the common speeds here at base 105. I think Buzzwell is going to be a really good option as well. Super bulky, super defensive, but also really pressures those dark types, which you really want to do with this thing. I think overall, Buzzwell, Minshaw, Coco, there's so many others. Honestly, you can pair this thing with any like fighting type, any bug type, any fairy type, and you'll be in a really good spot because this thing is going to be so diverse, so good at handling its own checks, I find. I cannot wait to see what we can do with, with Hisuian Zorak. I was going to say Galarian Zorak, but damn. I am excited, guys. If you are too, let me know by leaving a like on the video. And of course, comment your thoughts. What are your expectations down in the comment section below? Did you guys think they got it right with the normal and ghost typing? Are you guys excited for the normal and ghost typing? Or do you think it should have been something different instead? I would love to see it. Also, guys, I'm just going to say, this thing also only has two weaknesses. It's going to be weak to bug, or resistances, rather. Bug and poison. Nothing else is going to resist, but it's immune to three types. That's all that really matters. You're going to switch this thing in on a normal fighting or ghost type attack, and you're going to be absolutely fine. God damn. Well, if you guys like competitive Pokemon, if you guys like discussion videos, if you guys like list videos, all that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel here. We are putting out amazing videos for you guys every single week, multiple videos every single week, and we're going to be discussing every single piece of information that comes for Pokemon Legends Arceus as it comes out. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff, and I will see you all next time.